The last thing that 2024 taught me that I'm so glad that I learned, but I wish I would have learned it sooner, okay, is that the devil speaks too. Let me bring up some examples of what I'm saying to you, right? The devil spoke through Peter to Jesus when he tried to tell Jesus, no, Jesus, don't go to the cross. You're not going to die. And Jesus told Peter, get away from me, Satan. Jesus was able to recognize that even out of his friend, even in his disciple, the devil was working through him. Another example is the devil talked to Eve in the garden. She's in literally the garden of Eden, God's perfect place and perfect state of provision. And the devil still snuck his way through to manipulate her and to talk to her. This just goes to show, let these two things be examples of the fact that it don't matter how holy, how sanctified, how much you pray, the devil is like that hater that just won't go away. Like the devil is, he's just gonna be there, okay? I think that we as Christians should be aware of that and should not be afraid of that, number one. Number one, because God has given us authority over Satan and over his demons and and, um, spirits that come against us through Christ Jesus, right? So not to be afraid of Satan, but to be wise and to know that he sneaks around like a lion who wants to steal, kill, and destroy. And he waits for an opportune time to come in and, and to hurt our lives and to lie to us and to manipulate us. Like this is his job. Like it's like he's on payroll to be a hater. But like for me, myself, I used to feel like something was wrong with me because I would have like opposing thoughts or there would be confusion or like, you know, I feel like I would be tempted in certain ways or certain areas or whatever. And it's like, no, there's nothing wrong with you. You just... You just think that because the devil is there that you can't prosper. And I want to, and I want to elaborate on that with Psalms 23. It says that the Lord will prepare a table for us in the presence of our enemies. It does not say that the Lord is going to prepare a table for us when our enemies are dead and gone or when our enemies finally stop leaving us alone for all eternity. The Lord is going to prepare a table for you and bless you in the presence of your enemies, in the presence of the devil, in the presence of of other people like in wickedness or whatever the case may be. So we don't need to keep... um, trying to cast the devil out in order to keep going and get our life together. Like, no, yeah, you could, you could cast him down and, and submit your ways to Jesus Christ, but, but baby, you just got to keep going.